Dean, congratulations on a, a fantastic start to the season. Four games, four wins in all competitions so far. Three clean sheets, ten goals scored and just one conceded. You couldn't really ask for a better start, could you? No, you couldn't. Um, it's a really good start and you know, big congratulations from me to, to the whole squad really because they've all contributed. Two of the games have obviously been in the Cup and two in the Premier League. Um, but they worked really hard in pre-season and you know, they, they knew what we'd done was a big achievement at the end of last season in staying up and how we came back from pro into Project Restart. And pre-season worked really well. It was a short one, but the players have really knuckled down and uh, you know, uh, started off where they left off really. But it was a good pre-season because if we go further back, you're unbeaten in even more games if we include friendlies. Do you really feel the work you did in lockdown is just carried through, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, we had to make them our principles when we, when we spoke about it during lockdown. And, you know, um, principles should be things that stay at the football club and within the dressing room. And they have done. And the players have, uh, have been really good at, you know, uh, the compliance in taking in taking the information on um, and then putting it out on the pitch as well. So, you know, a lot of credit to, to the players. They've, they've been brilliant to work with. And a handful of new signings through the door. Uh, yesterday we saw Ross Barkley arrive. How did that come about? Because it seemed to happen very quickly because he was on the bench, wasn't he? And then he was here. Yeah, no, he was on the bench um, against Tottenham. And then uh, we managed to get the, the deal done um, during the evening. And, uh, you know, he could come and join us for training. So, um, again... I've said it many times so far during this uh, during this early pre-season and, and start of the season. You know, Jack Grealish was a statement of intent. Tyrone Mings, uh, Ollie Watkins, um, Matt Cash, Emmy Martinez, Bertrand Hurry, but now Ross Barkley, another statement of intent. And you know, um, very thankful that we've got owners that want to progress the the football club and. Uh, you know, they've allowed us to go out and, and get a player of that quality who has been playing for, you know, one of the top four teams uh, for the last few seasons. And he is a, a, a great addition to our squad with the quality that he brings. Where do you see him fitting in? Because he said to us he likes to play box to box. Um, where do you see his best position? Yeah, I, I see that as well. I mean, we... We normally play with one six and two eights, and I see him as one of the eights. Um, you know, there's times where we've played with two sixes and a ten, and he can certainly do the ten role as well. Um, you know, certainly saw him doing that a lot when he broke through at Everton. Um, you know, he's probably been more of a box to box eight uh, since he's been at Chelsea, but high caliber player. Again, we're talking high quality players and that we're looking to add to our, our squad. And I feel our squad has got a lot more depth now and certainly a lot more quality. And it's a really, really pleasing signing. Deadline day Monday. How happy are you with the business you've done this summer? Yeah, I'm really happy. And as I said earlier, really thankful that we've been backed by the owners to, to go and improve the squad. And, uh, you know, it's only been five players that were brought in, but also, you know, the, the statement of the signings of Jack and, and Tyrone. Um, you know, it's, it's been really pleasing and uh, I think we look at a, a really decent Premier League squad this season and uh, full of quality.